All right, so I wanted to briefly bring up a point about steam engines that uh, typically is misunderstood. Most people harp on steam engines for their terrible efficiency because for a reciprocating engine like this, you're usually looking at single digit efficiency, maybe 10% if it's a uh, tandem compound or triple expansion engine, but usually the efficiency of the engine is not very good, at least on a thermal efficiency level. And many people will compare it to an internal combustion engine, which can you know hit between 20, 30, maybe up to 50% if it's a diesel engine. But uh, the thing about this is that this isn't really a fair assessment to a steam engine, and it all has to deal with the fuel. So the thing is, is that if you have a solid fuel-powered engine burning wood or coal, uh, contrary to popular belief, um, wood and coal aren't really flammable, or at least they're not a uh, they don't burn in the way you think they burn. You see, wood, yes, wood burns, but really it's the wood gas, the sap, the tars, uh, the hydrocarbons within wood that burns. And then the ash, of course, which is the minerals that the tree brought up, doesn't burn. And you have to separate those. And the thing is, is that a, a steam engine and its boiler, it's really not just an engine. It's a refinery as well. Because the job of the firebox here is to turn this into hot gases that then rise through the boiler heating up the water and then the steam is actually the fuel that the engine consumes if you consider what goes into it. So the job of a boiler and a steam engine is to convert this raw fuel or this raw feedstock really into something useful because compared to something like propane you light a match that lights up that fuels ready to use. You take a match to a lump of coal or a piece of wood, it's not going to burst into flames. It'll start burning eventually, but it takes a while to get going. So a steam engine, its efficiency, you need to take into the fact that cutting into its efficiency, its thermal efficiency, is the energy it took to refine and process its fuel to a useful state. Now, of course, this only applies if you're burning solid fuel. If you're burning propane or oil, in a boiler, that doesn't really uh, that doesn't really translate it much because this fuel could be put into a internal combustion engine directly. At which point I'd be questioning why are you burning your oil and propane or natural gas in a boiler? Now, if you're in an industrial application and you're after the steam, not after energy, okay, yeah, make uh, do an oil burner. Or if you're a heritage railway and you're trying not to uh, burn the forest down, you're going to be burning oil or burning propane or some other type of ready to burn fuel. So the thing about internal combustion engines is that people say they're so much better than steam engines because they're so much more efficient. But if you were to account, uh, take into account the energy it took to refine their fuel to a point that a simple cheap engine is able to work on it, the, the way I see it is a lot of these internal combustion engines are very simple because they're, the fuel's doing the heavy lifting. They're, you know, the energy is put into the fuel in the form of refining it to a point that it's so easy to burn. I mean, if, if you take a very high BTU, refined, pure, clean fuel, you can put it into a relatively simple and cheap engine and get a lot of power and a decent amount of efficiency, but the fuel's doing the heavy lifting. In the case of a steam engine, you have to think of a steam engine as an engine bolted onto a fuel refinery. So that's why your efficiency is so low, because a lot of that energy in the boiler goes to converting this low quality fuel, compared to something like propane, into something useful. So just a point I wanted to raise about steam engines, because uh, really, they don't deserve the flack they get for being as inefficient as they are. What they lack in efficiency, they make up with the fact that they're burning abundant, at least in the case of wood, abundant, cheap, clean fuel instead of relying on a refined, high-quality fuel product that allows you to build a much simpler and cheaper engine to produce more power. Just food for thought.